Well, there's a change in the atmosphere. There is a change personally toward Netanyahu, not toward Israel, but toward Netanyahu. But it is too little and too late. Obama made any possible mistake until now, wasted one and a half year for nothing, fall to the trap of Israel, dealt for months with this stupid freezing of the settlements as if this is something crucial. And uh, I lost most of my hope about Obama, but still, I don't want to lose all my hope, so maybe he will change. I, I know for sure he said so. He understood he made many mistakes. I just think that the conclusion, his conclusions will be the opposite than he should have. I think that he will try now to hug Israel more. And if so, nothing will change. Thank you. Hmm. Thinking if to get get you another question, <laughs> but I'm sure uh, you have other questions. See, I'm thinking it's uh, this is a good interview, especially for the Czech audience, because you're not coming across as you know somebody just mm -hmm. radical. I, actually, all the people I interviewed, uh, I, I interviewed them in the beginning about the change, how they changed. This mm -hmm. this is very important yeah. because there nobody you know in, in Czech everybody sees just you know. Uh, the conflict in terms of if you're against anti-Semitism, you're uh, you have to support Israel. Yeah, this is actually a question I would like to give you. Uh, what do you tell to people? What would you say to people who think uh, that uh, being anti against uh, anti-Semitism yeah. uh, means uh, to support Israel on everything they do? Okay. So, let me go. Okay. It, it looks like, you know, it's from below, so you are there yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me make a better picture. What would you tell uh, to people who think uh, that being against anti-Semitism means support Israel in everything they do? We should make a very, very clear differentiation between being anti-Semitic, anti-Zionist, or being critical about policies of Israel. I think that a real friend of Israel is one who raises his voice against the occupation. I think a real friend of Israel is one who criticizes Israel. It's the same, by the way, in personal relationships. A real friend is one who dares to criticize you. And in this way, I appreciate much more the voices who criticize Israel than those who support Israel automatically and blindly. I think those people don't care about Israel. Now, for Israel, it's very easy to describe any criticism about Israel as anti-Semitism. Because if this is true, so it's the blame of the world, not Israel's blame. It's the fault of the world not Israel's blame. It's the responsibility of the world, not Israel's responsibility. This is pure demagogia, because the world treated Israel differently. This anti-Semitic world treated Israel much differently when Israel seemed, at least, that it's going for peace in the Oslo years. Where was then anti-Semitism? It wasn't there. By this, I don't say that there is no anti-Semitism in the world. Sure there is. But Israel should do anything possible to limit, to limit, to make, not to feed it. Israel is feeding also the anti-Semitism with its policies. And above all, Israel should be courageous enough and honest enough to make the separation and to know that it might be a criticism which deserves Israel, which Israel is deserving. Unfortunately, we have so many of them and not to blame always the other because of the criticism. Yes, the world has the full right to criticize Israel, even after the Holocaust and even after everything that happened in Europe. Still, the world has the right to criticize Israel, and Israel has the duty to react according to international law and international norms and international moral 
norms. But they, but they don't. <laughs> and it's been for, going on for a long time, so it seems like the only, only change from above, if we're talking, can come only from the US, which uh, you know, the occupation is totally dependent on. I always say that the day that the American president will really wish to put an end to the Israeli occupation, the Israeli occupation will come to its end. But I don't want to say that the world is only the United States because it has also an accumulative, accumulative effect on Israel. Israel is more and more isolated, Israel is more and more condemned in Europe and elsewhere, and it will finally have an effect, not immediately, not very quickly, but it will affect because you can't, I mean, this thought of many Israelis that six million or five million Israeli Jews are right and six billion people in the world are wrong, this will not last for long. Thank you, Gideon. Can you talk about what went uh, on TV in Israel during the assault on uh, the Mavi Marmara? Totally brainwash. The only videos that the Israelis were exposed to were the videos of the army spokesman.